All right, so the Quakes, despite coming off a win against the Sounders, they lost against New York City FC 3-0 in New York City at Yankee Stadium, and uh, New York controlled this game. All goals came in really the final end of the game. I mean, it was no goals in the first half. First goal was from Keaton Parks of New York City, and that was in the 74th minute. Four minutes later, Gabriel Pereira got a goal, and uh, that made it 2-0 New York City, and then Chris Gloucester got an 88th-minute goal. And like I said, the Quakes were coming off a win, so I thought maybe they could do something, but you're playing New York. I mean, New York City, that is. New York City right now, they're, you know, not amazing, but they're fifth place in the in the East, so they're pretty decent. But yeah, uh, the Quakes are going to play Colorado next, and that'll be against the Rapids on Saturday, May 7th. Um, for the Quakes in this game, though, really, they just didn't have any shots compared to New York City. Their offense was non-existent. Um, not many good shots on target either. And as a result, I mean, they just gave up too many goals. The Quakes had um, Marcin, <clears throat> Marcinkowski in net once again. He didn't do very good in the final ending of the game. And New York City just kind of controlled the pace. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, the pass accuracy was, was pretty good. But overall, the Quakes just looked sloppy. They didn't look good. And as a result, they lost 3 nothing. <clears throat> so no goals. It sucks to get, you know, shut out like that. But, um, yeah, so anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts. Quakes lose 3 nothing in New York City. I'll see you guys later, and yeah, go Quakes.